please, as a courtesy to the gentleman up here on the stage and your fellow media members, silent those cell phones now. Please provide your name and media affiliation with each question you ask. And uh, no video recording in this room whatsoever with your phone, so please put those away. And with that, Coach Anderson, opening remarks, please. Yeah, what a night. Um, incredible, incredible win for us, incredible win for our program, our school. Um, hard to put into words right now. Honestly, it's really, it's really hard to even, even, uh, even it just, just happened, right? But, uh, you know, I think uh, an unbelievable credit to Purdue. Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a Big Ten powerhouse. What, what, what they do there is incredible. I, and I kind of felt bad the last couple of days about what I said in the locker room because it was almost like a slight towards Purdue. I have an unbelievable respect for Purdue. I think they produce tremendous – um, tremendous respect, and, and for us to beat them tonight in this environment was just an incredible win for us. I'm so proud of the guys, what we've done, what we've accomplished so far, and um, just a, you know, an, an incredible night. I thought, I thought the style, our style is hard to play against. I'm sure the Big Ten teams don't press as much. I mean, our, our quickness, our speed. Um, you know, my dad, was a, my dad was a big boxing fan. Sty styles make fights, and our style, I thought, uh, hurt, hurt them a little bit. I thought that the, the press, the up-tempo, the speed, the quickness, and our guys just... I mean, they defended their tails off and, and, and play great. So, unbelievable win. We're, we're very happy to survive in advance and move on. Thank you, Coach. We'll start with questions for student athletes first, please. Raise your hand. We'll get you a microphone and make sure you wait for the mic before you ask your question. First, down here in the front. This is for Dimitri um, over here. Uh, Mark Canizaro from the New York Post. Um, Coach Tobin yesterday talked about um, hanging around, and you, you guys played what he called a pretty much of a blueprint game in the play-in game the other day. How close to the blueprint was today, and uh, at what point did you feel like you know they realized you weren't going away? Um, no, first off, we we knew coming to this game how good Purdue was. Um, you know, we didn't we we knew how good Purdue was. Um, so. Like I said, every game, we've been on this every year, so, you know, our job is coming to the game and just, 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 like I said, throw a punch. You know, we knew they was going to throw multiple punches. Just throw, throw a punch back. You know, we know what type of game this was, and, um, man, it, it, was, it was a game of runs, and we showed, why we, we showed why we belong here. So, you know, credit to Purdue, but, you know, we did what we had to do, and now we're on to the next one. Down here in front, reminder to name and media affiliation, please. Jack Ebling to drive with Jack and press pass for any of the players. Had you been on the court with anyone close to the size of Zach Eady? And could you either tell there was a moment where they started to think, man, we're in for a battle, or you guys, your confidence soared and you said, we can do this? Cameron, you want to handle that one? You guarded him quite a bit. It was a little bit of both. Um, it was hard guarding him. It was trying to get a rebound, trying to box him out, trying to get in front of him. but. Uh, our effort and everything changed that we played today, so that definitely helped. Right down here in front. Grant, Kevin Fielder from Owls 24-7. Did you at any point hear the crowd chant FDU's name as much as they did late in that game? Um, to, begin this, to begin the second half, we were so locked in, we couldn't hear it. Um, you know, it was really, really noisy in there, but when it got towards the end, we felt comfortable uh, where we were at. We, we heard the chance, and you know that just made us want to go harder. Here in the back with the coat, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media, Cincinnati. Uh, this question's for you, Grant. You did a lot of different things today: scoring, rebounding, assists, and the steals. Did you figure coming in that you'd have to do a little bit of everything in this type of environment to get a win over a number one seed? Yeah, of course. Uh, we had Karim Tweedy, uh, Ansley Almanor working very, very hard on the, on the boards. Um, the least I could do being at my size and using my athletic ability to come down there and help um, as much as I can to you know, keep those guys comfortable down there uh, out of foul trouble and um, making, sure, making sure we got extra possessions. We know they're a good team. I uh, knew they would, he would score, but you know, just getting those extra possessions, every possession counts. So. Last question for the student athletes. Sam Sprunger, uh, Big 10 plus four ASAP Network. This is for all you guys. Talk about your coach a little bit. How much do you feed off of his energy, and how does that translate to the court where you're taking that energy he gives you and putting it into the game there? His energy is great. Man. We feed off his energy. We start, start some practice, the locker room, before we come out to the game. His energy is great. Man. We believe in every player. Never, never downplay anybody. Unless everybody comes to the full potential. The first skill set, human being, any. It doesn't matter what it is. He believes in everybody. 
Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Coach, stick around, please. Proud of you, buddy. Good job. Good job. Questions for Coach Anderson, right here. The <laughs> Tobin, Bob Kravitz with The Athletic in Indianapolis. What, I mean, you, you said what you said after the first four game. Did you really mean it or was it, I mean, or what did you see in Purdue that made you and your assistants think, you know what, this seems beatable? I'm not sure how much I, I meant it. You know, I'm, I, 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 but I wanted our guys to, to believe, you know, right? I mean, uh, as a coach or a leader, you got to try to try to get them to, to believe in what we're doing, how we're doing it. So if I walk in there and say, hey, you know, I don't say anything. Now, I would have preferred there was not a camera in there. That, that's, it, was a, it was a right message, wrong audience. That's what I would say. I mean, was, I, I, was, I would have said that with no camera in there. So I didn't want to get, I didn't mean to get Purdue upset. So that was not the idea at all. But that was got to be the message. Like, we're, we're trying to win the next game. Like, we're, we just can't be happy to be here. Um, and the guys got to believe. And I'm, you know, listen, I, you see these guys like Dimitri Roberts from Mount Vernon. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily sure I have to tell him that. I think he believes no matter what. He believes he's the best player out there. And Grant's the same way too. And Sean started coming to his own that they believe they're, 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 they should be out there. And um, just fun to, fun to be around these guys. But, yeah, I, 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 um, I, do, I definitely want to get that across to him. Let's say we're, here, we're here to, you know, we're, we're a little irritated. I mean, we have a chip on, we all have a chip on our shoulder. People say we shouldn't be here, we shouldn't be in the tournament, all, like, all that kind of stuff we have to listen to. And, and um, we want to prove we belong. And I think people see now that we do belong. And, and I, here's the thing, we're getting better, too. Like, we're, we, played, we played really well these last two games, and that, that's a, a credit to our guys. Like, we are definitely getting better, and that's an um, exciting thing. Right down here in front. Tobin, uh, congratulations. Thanks, Mark. Do you, uh, can you speak to the job he did on Edie? Uh, I mean, he had numbers, but despite those numbers, it looked like you did everything you wanted to do against him. We talked about before the game, and their wins and their losses, he averages the same amount of points. I think he was averaging like 24 on their wins and 20, 23 in their losses, right? But if you look at their wins and losses, it's the other guys around him in their losses, those guys don't play well. In their wins, those guys play well. So we knew he's going to – I mean, what he scored tonight? I can't even see, uh, he got 21, right? So he still scored some points. We made him uncomfortable, but we did a great job on everybody else. And that was kind of the idea. Like, he's going to score some points. He's going to make some shots. We're going to make him guard. We're going to make him run. I thought they got tired. You know, we, we said, no, well, sometimes you just say it to your team just to say it to your team that, that, that they're tired. But they looked a little tired in the first half. And our guys saw that. And that, that I think it gave us a little bit of confidence. But they did a great – I mean, our post guys, Cam Tweedy, what's he, 6'5", 6'6", Anzi, 6'5", 6'6", were the shortest team in the, in the country. But we, we made him uncomfortable. And this, the, the, the things he made were not easy baskets. And I don't, I don't think he ever felt terribly comfortable. And that just was a great team effort. We, we really sank in the paint. We, we, we went off certain shooters. We're like, let's make them make threes. And um, – but not like, give them threes, make them make threes. So it just an unbelievable team effort. That just, you know, they were so, our guys were so locked in. You know, that's, you know, it'd be very easy to come here and just say, hey, nice win the other day. And let's just, and especially when you get up, you're up ahead at halftime, okay. We're up at halftime, this feels good. Like we just kept coming, you know. And they got up by five at one point, and we could have gone away. We definitely could have gone away. It looked a little bit like we're on the edge. The crowd was going crazy, and we kept fighting back. So that's, that's, that's character. Next year in the red shirt. Daniel Jakes with uh, Student Union Sports. Uh, Coach, I mean, you threw kind of a little bit of everything at Purdue. You full, full court press, 3-2. Uh, you had two sets of hands on Zach E.D. all game. Yep. Um, I mean, how, how do you take this win and carry that momentum into uh, Sunday? Yeah, I mean, we have to be – obviously, we're – Purdue's – if we play Purdue, it's like that. It's like that miracle speech in hockey, right? I, mean, I, watch, I watch that. Everybody's sending me clips of hockey speeches and Hoosier speeches and all that kind of stuff all, all day long, right? And um, if we played them a hundred times, they probably beat us ninety-nine times, right? We played them a hundred times, they probably we, we have one win. But tonight's the one we played well. We, we had we had to be unique. We had to be unorthodox. We had to uh, make it tough on them. And, you know, just be different. And so I think a win like that's great. Going to the next round. I mean, every time you win, I mean, what's the the alternative is we're going home. So I think it helps our confidence, helps our um, belief in what we're doing, and we'll get prepared for, for uh, Sunday. I mean, i got to go do some laundry, but I will get prepared for Sunday. <laughs> I have belief, but I'm not sure I have that much belief. i got to go I gotta do some laundry. Michael. 
Michael Cohen from Fox Sports. Uh, Tobin, one of the storylines surrounding Purdue this year was whether or not their freshman guards could do it in the NCAA tournament. I know you guys press anyway, but how eager were you to kind of put them under pressure and see how they would react in their first tournament game? Yeah, well, first of all, we have two great fifth-year senior guards. I have two, Dimitri, Dimitri and Grant, like, you know, they were Division II in, in guards for, the, for four years, but they've won a I mean, Their postseason record keeps on getting better. They're used to, they're not used to this, you know, but they're used to big games. And I think it's hard for freshmen to play against two fifth-year seniors who know how to play, who know how to win. Um, our press is what we do. It's hard to prepare for pressure, how we press in two days or three days. I mean, we just won on... You know, two nights ago, they had 48 hours. I'm sure they prepared a little bit, but we, that's, we played that way all the time. So our press was able to cause them a lot of problems, and, and, and that's what we do. You can't just start pressing all of a sudden and then be good at it. We've had to press the whole year long, and, it's, and we, we still made some mistakes tonight. We, we, we did, we did some, 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 some things we can correct for, for Sunday, but I thought we sped them up. We made them play fast. And those, those two freshman guards are going to be terrific. They're going to be terrific players. But, you know, I think having two fifth-year seniors who have combined for 3,500 points and one – one, I don't know how many NCAA games now. That's, that's, I think that was, we had the advantage there, obviously, I, I think. And that puts us out of time. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. We'll Great. see you Thanks, tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Thank you.